Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Steffis King Entrepreneurship, a place for future successful entrepreneurs. Today, we're going to embark on an intriguing exploration into the spending habits of the wealthy, a journey that may well offer us insights into their success. Our guide on this journey is the enlightening 2022 Schwab Modern Wealth Survey, a comprehensive study that delves into how Americans perceive wealth and how the well-off manage their finances. You see, the rich have a different perspective on spending, which significantly influences their wealth accumulation. From prioritizing their health to investing in quality products, to even the way they treat their pets, the wealthy have a distinct approach. As we traverse this path, we'll uncover eight key areas where the spending habits of the rich markedly differ from those of the poor and middle class. Now, let's delve into the eight things that the rich spend their money on, which the poor and middle class do not. First on the list is health. Now we often hear the phrase, health is wealth, but for the well-off, this is not just a saying, it's a way of life. They understand that maintaining good health is key to enjoying their wealth, so they prioritize it above many other things. One way they do this is by choosing to eat whole organic food. Unlike fast food or processed meals, these foods are free from harmful chemicals and are packed with the nutrients our bodies need to function optimally. The wealthy understand that the cost of organic food is an investment in their health, as it can help prevent illnesses and improve their overall well-being. Another way the affluent prioritize their health is by exercising more frequently. Regular exercise not only helps to keep the body fit, but also boosts mental health by reducing stress and anxiety. It's not uncommon to find the wealthy investing in personal trainers or high-end fitness facilities to ensure they get the most out of their workouts. So, it's not just about being rich in terms of money, but also rich in health. Secondly, the wealthy prefer quality over quantity. Now this might seem counterintuitive. After all, isn't it tempting to buy more for less? But here's the thing, when it comes to the wealthy, they understand that value isn't just about price. It's about durability, it's about craftsmanship, it's about the longevity of the product. Take clothing as an example. Instead of going for fast fashion, which might be cheaper initially but wears out quickly, the wealthy tend to invest in high-quality clothing. These pieces may cost more up front, but they are designed to last, often becoming timeless staples in their wardrobes. The same principle applies to furniture. Sure, you can buy a cheaply made chair or table, but will it stand the test of time? Wealthy individuals prefer to spend more on well-crafted furniture, that not only looks good, but can also withstand years of use. So it's not about having more, it's about having better. And this mindset extends beyond just material possessions. It's about investing wisely, whether it's in their wardrobe, their homes, or their lives. This is a classic case of spending more now to save more in the long run. Thirdly, the rich have a taste for entertainment. It's not all work and no play for the well-heeled. In fact, they seem to understand the importance of balance and leisure in life. They invest a significant part of their wealth in entertainment. And we're not just talking about a Netflix subscription or a regular trip to the movies. The rich have an affinity for experiences that offer a bit more exclusivity and excitement. They are more likely to spend on admission fees to sporting events and not just any seats but the best ones in the house. They are frequent visitors to concerts, often opting for VIP access to enjoy the show in the most luxurious way possible. They value culture and education, and thus, museums and art galleries are also part of their entertainment repertoire. In essence, the rich see entertainment as an investment in experiences, in memories. These experiences enrich their lives and often provide a well-deserved break from their work. They understand that life is not just about accumulating wealth, but also about enjoying it. It seems that for the wealthy, life is not just about work, but also about play. Fourthly, the wealthy have a special place in their hearts for pets. Now, we all love our furry, feathered or even scaly companions. But for those with higher incomes, the care and attention given to these pets takes on another level. It's not just about providing the basics like food and shelter. No, it's about offering the best that money can buy. 
gourmet pet food, designer pet accessories, and even healthcare for pets that rivals what some humans receive. These are just a few of the ways the affluent show their love for their pets. The wealthy understand that pets are not just animals, but an integral part of their lives. They are willing to invest in their pets' happiness and well-being because they see them as members of their family. It's not about spoiling their pets or showing off their wealth. It's about ensuring that their pets have the best possible life, just as they would for any other member of their family. So the next time you see a pampered pooch or a coddled cat, know that it's not just about extravagance. It's about a deep love and appreciation for the joy and companionship these pets bring. Pets, it seems, are more than just companions to the rich. They are part of the family. Fifth on the list is retirement savings. When it comes to financial planning, the wealthy tend to think long term. They understand that their current lifestyle can only be sustained if they make wise financial decisions today. One key area they focus on is their retirement savings. Unlike many, those with high incomes often contribute larger percentages of their pay to retirement accounts. This isn't a random act, but a strategic move. By contributing more to their retirement funds, they ensure that they have a comfortable nest egg waiting for them in their golden years. They realize that the future is uncertain, and the best way to navigate it is by being prepared. So, they contribute significantly to their retirement savings, which over time results in higher average retirement savings compared to those who contribute less. This highlights the importance of prioritizing your future financial security over immediate gratification. It's a lesson we can all learn from. For the wealthy, it's not just about living well today, but also about securing a comfortable future. Sixthly, the wealthy invest in education. It's not just about book learning, but about the opportunities that education can unlock. The top 1% of earners aren't just dipping into their pockets, they're digging deep, allocating nearly 6% of their income to education. This includes private education for their offspring. It's a significant amount, no doubt. But why do they do it? Well, it's because they see education as an investment. An investment in knowledge, in skills, in future opportunities. They understand that education is a ticket to a brighter future, not just for their children, but for their family's legacy. It's a long-term strategy, a forward-thinking approach that sets the wealthy apart. They believe in the power of education to shape destinies, to transform lives, to build wealth that lasts. So it's not just about spending, it's about investing. Investing in a resource that doesn't depreciate but appreciates over time. Education, it seems, is not just an expense, but an investment for the wealthy. Scene script. Seventh on the list is vacations. When it comes to taking a break from the hustle and bustle of life, the affluent really know how to do it in style. Vacations are a big part of their expenditure, and they're not just about getting away, but about immersing in new cultures, cuisines, and experiences. Wealthy Americans, for instance, spend significantly more on vacations than their less affluent counterparts. This isn't just about splashing out on five-star hotels or flying first class, although those are certainly part of the package. It's about the overall experience, from the gourmet meals and fine wines they indulge in, to the exclusive entertainment events they attend. But there's more to it than just luxury. Vacations for the wealthy often involve exploring new places, learning about different cultures, and creating memories that will last a lifetime. They understand the value of experiences over material possessions, and they're willing to invest in those experiences. During the pandemic, the cost of travel dropped significantly, making it more accessible for many. But as we're emerging from this global crisis, the cost of travel is on the rise again. Yet, this hasn't deterred the wealthy from their globe-trotting habits. After all, for them, vacations are an investment in themselves, their well-being, and their relationships. It's not just about relaxation, it's about enrichment. It's about stepping out of their comfort zones and embracing the unfamiliar. It's about feeding their curiosity and broadening their horizons. And most importantly, it's about making the most of their time, because they understand that time, above all, is the most precious commodity. 
So while the rest of us might be scrimping and saving for that once-in-a-lifetime trip, the wealthy are busy planning their next adventure, investing not just in the journey, but in the experiences and memories they'll gain along the way. For the wealthy, vacations are not just about relaxation, but also about experiences and creating memories. To sum up, we've explored eight key areas where the wealthy tend to allocate their resources differently. They prioritize their health, investing in organic food and regular exercise. They choose quality over quantity, purchasing durable clothing and furniture. Entertainment, from concerts to sporting events, forms a significant part of their expenditure. Their love for pets is often reflected in their spending, and they don't shy away from setting aside a substantial portion of their income for retirement savings. Education, especially private schooling for their children, is another area they value highly. Lastly, the rich indulge in lavish vacations, spending generously on food, alcohol, lodging, and entertainment. Understanding these spending habits is crucial for anyone aspiring to accumulate wealth. It's not just about earning more, but also about how you manage and spend that wealth. It's about creating a lifestyle that not only sustains wealth, but also enhances the quality of life. Remember, it's not about emulating these spending habits right away, but about understanding the value system that guides them. So, keep learning, keep growing, and keep striving for your entrepreneurial dreams. Subscribe to Steph is King Entrepreneurship for more videos, and until next time.